Yeah, hello everyone. Um, today I like to share with you my uh, first um, asset library for cinema. So uh, in the past I created a lot of different assets uh, so for uh, with C notes. So some of them are more playful, some of them are more like small tools. And uh, today I like to share with you all the tools. So before we jump in tool by tool and uh, explain them, I like to show you how to install the database. So when you downloaded the database uh, from Gumroad, you find the Gumroad link in the description. Then uh, open Cinema, and when you are in Cinema, go here to this button here. This is the database button. So the at, uh, asset browser, sorry, not the database. So open the asset browser. And when you click here on this little button here, I think it's called databases. So you can see which databases are installed. So uh, you have here the database of your um, uh, scene file, then the standard databases of uh, from Cinema. And here are uh, custom databases. So here I hide my own databases. So, and if you like to install my uh, database, um, so my assets, then you can go here to databases, then connect zip database, then go to the zip file that you downloaded from Gumroad, then press open. And then you can see here, uh, it installed the database directly from the zip file. So this is version 1.0. So when you uh, hold down control or command on Mac uh, and press the little I here, then you can see you can just see all the stuff from this database. All the other stuff uh, is, is hidden. So then let me show what's inside the database. So first off, there are some uh, models. I will come back to them when we talk about uh, the selection tools. So when you click here to the list, you can see here we have here some selection visualizer tools. Then we have for every, uh, for every node, you have some example scenes here. So I will show some of them for, for each note. And then of course here the note, here are my notes. So all those notes uh, you can use inside the uh, uh, object, uh, object manager or inside notes. So before we jump in uh, uh, into the explanation of every individual note, I like to show you uh, some tricks when you work with uh, custom notes from other databases. So maybe example, uh, let's use here the uh, surface stippling note. And when you use some of those notes here and when you like to share those with uh, other people's so and they don't have the database here so then it is important to um, embed your um, asset here that you use from my database inside of the file so how can you do this so when you have the asset here in your scene then go here to the surface stippling asset here then go here to the detail button and you can see the details of the surface stippling um, asset, so the icon, and then you have here the database, so where it's located, so it's in the database, Trucly Assets uh, version 1.0. So when you go to the versions, you can see here are different versions. So when you press here basic, you can see the, the asset version is 1.04. So then click here to the asset version 1.04 right click and then say copy database then you can copy to another database and here in this case if you like to share the file go here to the scene file press ok and then you can see it's now embedded inside of the scene file so when you go here to info again you see here database it's located in the scene file and in the truly asset database here Another solution, if you don't like to embed this uh, into into the file, you can also um, right-click here on the asset 
uh, and say edit asset as group and now it opens and now it is no longer an asset now it is it, it is a group you can see when you're here on basic uh, there's no um asset version anymore so now it's just a group and this means you don't have to embed it inside of the scene file and uh, you can use it and share it for to other people